everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back again with my third, third little art video about my own personal art. This time it's not Disney related, it's just my own personal stuff that I made a long time ago. This is all years ago. I haven't done anything non-Disney in quite a few years. So it's kind of my, my own little personal telling. I'm giving you guys a little piece of Dano to understand and enjoy here. Uh, now, this same little piece, this is the first video I did here. There's a link down below. Um, but what's cool is this other one over here, this is a different piece altogether. This was, I guess, my third, maybe we could call it a fifth piece because the last one I did was like three different pieces of art. I don't know. But we'll call it, they, we'll call it a third for right now because it's a third video. And this piece actually focuses on Polaroids. And it doesn't, it may not look at it at first, but it, at some point during like the mid-2000s, it was when I was going through this whole Dano art renaissance kind of deal where I was reinvigorating my passion for art. Um, I got a hold of a Polaroid camera and I kind of became obsessed with the idea of a Polaroid camera because it's something, like a Polaroid picture isn't a picture that can be easily replicated. Like you take that Polaroid and it's going to expose it and it's going to make that one copy. It's not a digital camera where you can go print a billion of the same thing. You can't re-expose a Polaroid, that's it. It's a one-time deal, one moment captured in history and you can't redo it no matter how hard you try. That's one. You can take another picture that's very similar, but it's not the same picture. Even if you use like a film camera with you know 35 millimeter film, you get negatives. You can reproduce those same photos over and over. A Polaroid, you can't. So I was very obsessed with this idea, the magic of recording one moment in time that can never be reproduced, and how special that is. That's like a really, it's a really cool thing that like not many things do that. Videos that you guys are watching now, you get to rewatch whenever you want. I could, it's a digital video, and as the world's increasingly getting more digital. It's kind of funny, like these little analog things, these small little, you know, these little things. I have no better word for it. Um, but they're, it's kind of fascinating that they're no longer going to exist at some point. So that's kind of what inspired this whole little piece that I did. Uh, at the time, I had picked up some India ink and one of those little fountain pen things, just because. I was like, you know what, I'm going to the craft store. I got nothing better to do. And at this point, I had already moved out because my first piece I did when I was like really broke needed to find somewhere to live. At this point, I had moved out. So I'm living with friends now in a good place. Everything's well. Money's going great. I've got a good job. Things are fine. Um, and so I decided I was going to do more artwork. And I'm doing this artwork. I had a larger piece of paper. This is more of a from a giant sketchbook, actually. So I started putting down the weird little blobs. I actually put down a blob of ink in the center and started blowing with like a straw to give it these weird little jagged lines. Now, there is a white border around it. That's actually something I pasted on after the fact, but we'll get into that in a second. So I started this piece with, you know, by doing that with the blob and blowing air at it to make these weird little designs, and I started creating these little creatures. They look like kind of weird plant. I don't know what they are. And I drew this little cliff for them to sit on. I was like, okay, cool. I had my weird little, you know, all these weird little designs, and I started adding shapes. And eventually I got to the point where I started drawing this other stuff because it reminded me of what was in my other piece, the one about the dollars, I actually started doing lines that matched up and kind of felt similar to that. Just weird little sketching. I had no no intent with this yet. And then I took a picture of uh, the Polaroid. Actually, I took a Polaroid picture of my other piece in the second video, the one with the three that hang in the corner. And actually, in the corner of this is literally that Polaroid, that one Polaroid that I took, which can't be reproduced. I can't make that Polaroid again, is actually glued behind this page. So what I did is I cut out where the picture would be, but I left part of the drawing there to intrude over the Polaroid. So I cut out that shape, that piece of paper, just so you could see the Polaroid behind it. I even drew in part of the border. But some of these things, like these words and stuff like that that I put on there, they're just drawings with, you know, with the ink on paper. But I took out that actual literal piece of paper, this little squiggle, and I took it and I painted it with blue watercolor and more ink, and I actually flipped it upside down and put it in the corner over here. And because it was blue and I did it with ink, I wanted it to match what was in my original. So it's actually like I took a piece from the original and I pulled it and threw it into this painting, uh, which I do on occasion. And I'll show you guys as we walk through all these art pieces how I've been gradually doing that here and there. So in this piece, I managed to take a little bit from the first one. And there's something I drew from a dollar and it's in blue, the similar kind of color that I just stashed in the corner. But it's built out of this little piece that I cut out. Is this making sense? I think it's making sense. So, there we go, we've got that going. And then I decided, I was looking at it, I was like, well, everything in this painting was black and white, or in this drawing, I guess, was black and white. 
except for this Polaroid picture and except for this blue thing. So I was like, everything in the Polaroid, because that came from the Polaroid, technically, the only things in color were things that were inside of a Polaroid. So I decided to cut out exact shape of a Polaroid in just white paper, and I glued that over my little weird creature in the middle, and I kind of left his, you know, he's protruding out from behind it. It's almost like this weird imaginary lens that only shows you color, that's what the Polaroid does. So this, this is why this is about Polaroids, is because they're the only things in color. They're that one capturing of that magical moment. So to make it look more magical, I just took that same cheapo watercolor set that I had from before, and I just uh, kind of colored in, in almost like a rainbow of colors around it, but within the Polaroid borders. So it's kind of an interesting piece. It's a little bit different, and it's not a normal shape, because it's not a regular rectangle, because the actual Polaroid sticks out over here on the corner. And that's, that's it. This is just the third. This one it doesn't have a super huge meaning other than the whole Polaroid thing. But later on, I'll kind of show you how I use the whole Polaroids to use that in other paintings. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me do this, giving a little Dano history. Because it is the Dano channel, by the way. It's not just Disney stuff all the time. There's plenty of Disney. But there's also a little bit of me, and I'm trying to share with you guys my own personal story, my own personal artwork. So if anybody is at all interested in maybe a print of this or even buying the original, let me know down in the comments below. I love you guys. You're not going to want the original now. I just dropped it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed learning more about my own personal artwork and kind of me sharing myself with you guys more. I like the community that we've been building up. It's really cool. It's this little Dano Channel family. I love all your comments, so leave them down below. I want to know what you think about this piece of artwork. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Something you want, something you don't want. Should I do more stuff like this? Do you want to see what Dano would create now, where my brain is these days? Either way, leave it all down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.